It's very important that um, students and staff can benefit from e-learning. It's there to enhance learning and teaching. I quite often get the question, will this replace face-to-face -face learning? And no, not at all. I think it's completely there to enable access to materials in a much easier way than uh, would be possible without technology. It's there for us to uh, provide information in a very timely fashion. It's for collab collaboration. It's learning in a ways in which you cannot always do in the classroom. People have used e-learning and technology to enhance learning in very innovative ways across the college. During my clinical years of medicine, uh, we had these things called online scenarios, which uh, you do the online scenario, which would be around a sort of a particular patient presentation at home, and that would sort of have different inter interactive quizzes and tables you'd fill out and diagrams and that sort of thing. And then when you completed that, you'd uh, bring a printout with you to a teaching session with a doctor or professor at the hospital and you get feedback on how you performed in this portion and that portion. And I really liked being able to do the e-learning at home and then bring that in for feedback from a tutor. So sort of the meshing of both of those things was really great. When I deployed to Afghanistan in 2010, I had to take a break really at the beginning of 2009 uh, through until the end of 2010 when the term restarted. Uh, that was facilitated at King's very, very easily. It was really straightforward. And when I picked up again, because they kept in touch, it was as if I'd never left and slipped back into the system again. I think on a day-to-day -day basis, it allows you to air ideas, it allows you to open discussions, and it allows you to establish a dialogue that in my, my previous learning experience uh, as a full-time student, I was never able to do. Uh, we have, I was engaging with students uh, who were in the US, who were in Central Africa, who were in Central Europe, uh, and indeed in, the, in the, the, the Middle East. And it gave me a window in the world that otherwise I wouldn't have had. There are all kinds of ways to engage students and get them to join in the dialogue because I'm sure you can appreciate at university there often is no yes or no answer, no right and wrong. Everything is open to debate and things evolve and change. And um, my e-learning materials and lots of other people's e-learning materials accommodate and encourage that. The dialogue is the most important part for me. So I think e-learning makes things in lectures and seminars more efficient because you can sort of prepare for the lecture or seminar beforehand by looking at the teaching material for that particular teaching period. Uh, get an idea of what you'll be talking about in the uh, seminar, for example, and then it means you're more prepared for teaching. I'm really excited about the Digital Professionalism course. Last year I built with our um, colleagues at the virtual campus a specific e-learning module on digital professionalism. I began to lecture students of every year about how they should carry themselves online and give them points really with regard to how they can embellish their professional profile and enhance their employability. And subsequently we made an e-learning module and it's been rolled out across the clinical schools and actually at the moment what we're doing now is we're working with King's Health Partners and with um, the South London and Maudsley Trust who want to buy the licence for that. And what that says to me is that it's relevant to employers right now. So actually we've already taken the step to train our students to be better employees and that's amazing because what it means to King's is that um, the skills that we're sharing with our students are relevant to the long-term employability. So I think our vision really is to make everybody feel comfortable um, about using technology, um, enhance learning, to take you forward from the classroom, to create communities of learning. So I think these are real examples of, of benefit for students.